What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next question, we are given a triangle that has these vertices here. So vertice A has coordinates negative six and four, vertice B negative three, negative one, and then C has six and 10. And given this triangle, we have to find the equation of the median from vertex C, and then we have to find the equation of the right bisector of AC. Sometimes you'll be given a question like this where you have to mix up these different lines, like a median and a right bisector with the same triangle. So first thing I'm gonna do is just draw a rough diagram to show you where we're gonna be going with this. So we got negative six and four for vertex A. It's negative six and four. And then we have vertex B, which is negative three, which would be like here, and then negative one. So this here would be vertex B. And then we have vertex C at six and 10. So six and 10, that would be like there. That would be vertex C, six and 10. So if we join these vertices, we end up getting a triangle like that. And so visually, what's gonna happen is first we have to find the equation of the median from vertex C. So remember what a median is, we start at the vertex and we connect it with the midpoint of the opposite line. So the opposite line in this case is AB. So we'd have to find the midpoint, which would be about here, let's say, right? This is just a rough drawing. So that right there would be the median that we're finding. So notice it's gonna be a positive sloping line. So remember that the slope that we're gonna to have to solve for when we get this median has to be positive. It's why it helps making a diagram like this, just a quick one, just to know generally what you are going for, right? So that's gonna be the median. Now, what about this right bisector of AC? Well, where is AC? AC is over here. So the right bisector is going to be in the middle of these, which as a spoiler alert, it's actually gonna happen at an X value of zero, right? Cause we have negative six and positive six. The X value between those is zero. So it's actually gonna happen here. Let me erase this. And so just to not confuse the lines here, the midpoint and then it bisects it right? Meaning that these sides have the same length and it's a right bisector, meaning that it's perpendicular to the line. So that's the right bisector. That's the equation of the line that we're going to be finding. Okay. So notice this has a negative slope. It's going to be sloped downward. So that's going to be the, uh, the equation of the right bisector. So this is the median we're finding. This is the right bisector that we're finding. So just wanted to give kind of a rough diagram there. So let's go through the steps. So with step one, we have to find the median. So first thing we have to find is the, um, the midpoint. So what I'm gonna do actually is just draw, you know what, I'll draw it over there. Just to kind of keep this in mind, give me a reference to work with. So first thing we're gonna do is find the midpoint of AB, right there. We'll call it point M, right? This is for the median. So the midpoint between AB would be, we would add the, um, the X values of AB and divided by two then we would add the y values divided by two. Okay, so this here is gonna be negative nine over two. This here is gonna be negative three over two. So this ends up being the coordinates of the midpoint. Uh, I'll just write it over here. Okay, so the midpoint is gonna be negative nine over two and then negative three over two like that. 
So we have the midpoint. Now what we have to do is find the slope between the midpoint and C, right? Find the slope of this line. So the slope would be, if we label this, let's say x1, y1, this would be x2, y2. So we'd have y2 minus y1. So we'd have 10 minus negative three over two over six minus negative nine over two, like that. So this would end up being 10 plus three over two over six plus nine over two. So let's do these on the side. So 10 over one plus three over two, multiply this by two, multiply this by two. So it'd be like 20 over two plus three over two for a common denominator, 23 over two. So that would be the numerator. That's what that simplifies to. And then we'd have six plus nine over two. Multiply this by two, multiply this by two. So we'd have 12 over two plus nine over two, which would give us 21 over two. So this would end up being 21 over two. So basically what we're doing is we're taking 23 over two and we're dividing it by 21 over two, which would be like 23 over two multiplied by two over 21, like that. Notice the twos cancel out. So we'd have 23 over 21, like that. That would be the slope. So, um, yeah, so now we have the slope. Give me a sec here, yeah, we have the slope. And then to find the B value, we can use either this midpoint or this point C. It doesn't matter which of the points we use. I'm gonna use point C just because this is fractions over here. It doesn't matter which one you use, you're gonna get the same B value. So we'd have Y equals 23 over 21 X plus B. So the Y value is 10. And then we'd have six over here and this would be plus B like that. So uh, you can multiply these, but six over 21 that actually simplifies to two over seven. You could divide this six by three, you could divide the 21 by three, and this would end up being uh, 46 over seven plus B, and then we have a 10 over here. Then we gotta bring the 46 over seven over, so we'd end up with Y equals 10 minus 46 over seven, which would be like 70 over seven minus 46 over seven, which would give us 36 over seven. So that would be the B value. So final equation of the median is 23 over 21 X plus 36 uh, over seven, like that. So that's in Y equals MX plus B form. Now, if you wanna put in standard form, you gotta get rid of the fractions. So you can multiply everything by the lowest common denominator between 121 and seven is 21, so multiply this by 21, this by 21, this by 21, so we'd have 21y, 21s would cancel out, we'd have 23x, seven goes into 21 three times, three times 36 would give us 108, like that. And then notice the x is positive on the right side, so we'll bring everything to the right side. that right there ends up being the line. So this and this are the exact same line. So that ends up being the answer for number one. Exact same process for medians that we've gone through before. Now, what about the, um, the bisector of AC? So that's gonna be, going back to our reference here, that's gonna be this over there. So we've gone through a video covering right bisectors and we went through specific steps. So the first step is we wanna find the slope of AC, right? So the slope between this point and this point. So we already have that labeled X2, Y2. Let's label this X1, Y1. 
So we can do 10 minus 4 over 6 minus negative 6, like that. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This would be 6 over 6 plus 6 would be 12. 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 ends up being this slope. Now step 2, we need the perpendicular slope because it's going to be a perpendicular line to this one. Uh, so negative reciprocal of this would be negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2, like that. So that's going to be the slope of the right bisector. Now we need the midpoint of the right bisector. And then once we have the midpoint, we could find the equation of line with the slope, with the perpendicular slope and the midpoint. So the midpoint between A and C it's going to be the x values added up together, divided by 2, which is going to be 0, as I mentioned before. And this is going to be divided by 2. So this is going to end up being 0 over 2. This is going to be 14 over 2. So this would end up being 0 and 7, like that. And actually, this is nice. If you notice, that's the y-intercept, which is just the b value. So the answer is just y equals negative 2x plus 7, right? If you didn't notice this and you just used 0 and 7, well, you'd still get this because notice y equals mx plus b, y equals negative 2x plus b. Well, when we plug in 0 and 7, and then over here we'd have negative 2 times the x value of 0 plus b. Notice this goes to zero, so we're just left with the b value, b is equal to seven. Right? But I noticed that b value, same as the y-intercept, and we had a y-intercept here because the x value is zero, so we could just plug in the seven directly. Okay, so that ends up being the answer to number two. If we want to put that in standard form, um, negative two x plus seven, bring it over to make the x positive, so we'd have 2x plus y minus 7 is equal to 0. That ends up being the, uh, the final answer for number 2. So either that or that. All right, so if you get something like this, I recommend drawing out the triangle just on a rough diagram. So then you know what you're going for, and then you can see what your target is. Right, so that's how you find the equation of a median and a right bisector given a triangle.